You want the twins, right? You want to get close enough to count the nose hairs? Well, I got a way to do that. Now, normally, I just walk you up and introduce you to the twins straight off. But I'm on the outs with them right now. Told them they were fucking up and they got all huffy. It's the whole thing. That's not important. What's important is that now, the twins are all over this guy Frank. Like he's their best friend or something. They even made him the fucking warden of the prison. You believe that? Well, they know me and him don't get along. He's such a dick. But what it is is, Lou has a thing for me. And she wants to make me jealous, okay? Or why else would they even talk to that asshole? So the number one part of the plan is, you gotta kill Frank. And here's how we do it. He's the prison warden, right? So I take you to the prison as a prisoner. That gets you close to Frank, and you just fucking take him out. Take that motherfucker out. I'll explain the rest of the plan on the way. Trust me, it's sure fire. Just stash your gear here. The prisoners don't got weapons. Then jump in the truck, and I'll drive you in. If we just take out the twins, the rest will fall apart. Hey, what do you know? Orange is your color. Hop in the back, let's go. So you're wondering how killing Frank gets you close to the twins, right? Well, the demolition derby's coming up. The winner of the derby gets invited to the fancy-ass dinner with all the highwaymen bigwigs. Win the derby, and you got an express ticket to the twins' personal space. The problem is, the derby's got all the drivers they need. We gotta open up a spot in the lineup. Well, guess what? Frank's all set to drive in the derby. That's right. You see the genius of the plan? You take Frank out, and boom! Suddenly, the derby's a driver short. So happens, I know a guy who's tight with a gal. Anyway, I can get you that spot on the derby. But first, Frank's gotta go. I guess without any weapons, you'll have to improvise a way to kill that motherfucker. I'll let you work out the details. <laughs> Hey, it's Lil Fucker! Imagine that, Lil Fucker in his garbage truck. Hope you got something good in the truck bed there, Lil Fucker. Hope it's worth our fucking while. The hell you want, Lil Fucker? Hey, nice to see you too, jeez. I got a prisoner with me, what do you think? Mm. It's your ass in the weeds with their problem. Bring him in. Don't balls it up in there, okay, Slick? Don't die! Tell you anything. 
anything if you cut out their tongues. Plenty of tongues where those came from. I'm not listening to me. Those shits gave the rabbit something, and I want to know what it is. I'm with you on that, but they can't tell you anything unless you ask more questions. Let me handle this. I know what I'm doing. I hate to barge in. We're busy! I, I know, but somebody who looks important wants to talk. How important? I don't want to hear this. This is all under control. I'll handle this one. <laughs> What are you still doing here? as us without some good old-fashioned prisoners and jobs. I finally got my car running again. I know how to get out of here. I know which one has the key back inside. It took my shiv to the restricted zone. I could try and get it, take him out. If my goddamn legs would stop shaking. If I had the guts.
I cannot overstate how much I wanted Frank to die. Thank you. Can't believe that idiot thought he could drive in the Derby. I could drive in the Derby. I could run the Derby. I know more about cars than any of them. I once built a car out of nothing but a kitchen sink. That spot in the Derby is yours now. And that's gonna get you up close and personal with Mickey and Lou. All I gotta do is finagle you a halfway decent set of wheels and you're good to go. Look, we don't wanna be seen hanging around together. So you gotta move on out of here. Now don't worry, I'll be in touch real soon. <laughs> 